Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you, okay? So we're going to talk about CPA marketing, CPA grip, CPA leads, whatever you guys are using, right? I usually be thinking about some crazy stuff, right? So I like to bring it to you as I've thought about it, as I've used it and tested it uh, to see if it works or not. Uh, and then I wanted to bring it to you guys to show you, you know, how you guys can make it work. Okay, so if you all know anything about jobs on Facebook, uh, this is the job section of Facebook. Now, we know Craigslist costs money, right? So Facebook is the next best thing, right? People are getting hired off Facebook, getting jobs through the Facebook platform. So if you go to the, you know, the, the job section, it's normally on your right hand side. Uh, once you're on your you know home page, you can find it. You click, you can click create a job. Now, in order to do this, you just need to create you a fan page, but you don't need to get any likes or anything. You just have to, so that way when people respond, you know, to your ad, you could do certain things, and I'll show you here. But the first thing I was thinking about was let me create. Uh, what if I created a job uh, that people could apply for and then get paid from CPA? So. If you go to Indeed, you could just, you know, type in $25 an hour or whatever it is that you're wanting, you know, the pay to be. And you can use the actual jobs in your city or your state, right, that people are hiring for, right? So basically, my idea behind this was let me just grab, you know, a certain job, right? So for instance, I've already made one, but I'll just give you guys an example. This is not where I'm at, but for instance, you'll click on this, right, and you'll click apply. And then they give you this description, interesting right so why not what if I, I said what if I you know copy this entire thing and put it in uh, you know my lead pages or whatever it is Weebly or whatever right so it came out looking something like this right this was what I created okay and so I created the you know the career opportunities uh, the general warehouse job up to $25 an hour uh, and then I just pretty much copied everything that I saw, right? And so I'm like, okay, once they click apply, what if I could direct them to a CPA offer with the same job title, right? And then have them go through it. And then when they finally get to the other side, then I would, you know, uh, give them, you know, the link to the actual, uh, website, right? And so what... I did was I came here right and as you guys can see I made some good money using this uh, and this is what I've created so I'll click here right and this is what it looks like so how did I do that well let me show you right so as you can see my performance on this particular offer right is at 70 plus percent right that bar is way up there so what I did was I clicked on this offer right and I decided to go ahead and change the entire thing change this entire uh, landing page and I, I think I showed you guys in a, a, a video of how to do this stuff before but if I didn't I'll show you now so you right click you just click inspect on the picture you you know you can double click or however you guys want to do it take this link out because this is the the picture and that goes away right so then you click off of it boom picture's gone right if you want to get rid of all this you do the same thing you click you know inspect take this picture double click it delete it that's gone then you do the same thing with this right now when you get here you just pretty much name it whatever the job title is so whether it's the warehouse job that's all you would do right you would just go through and create it and delete you know whatever else it is that you need to delete right so you would just right click this right and then wherever the header is so I would come down with the drop down and I would change this header which is this here I would change this to whatever I want to whether it's you know twenty five dollars per hour or the name of the, the the job or whatever it is right so let's say twenty five dollars per hour position and I'll do that right and so just to show you what that looks like 
Oh, I didn't even put the R on there, so let me go back and change that. So we'll do the R. Right? Bingo. And then you can come here, and then you can change this to the name of the company. So even though this isn't $25 an hour, let's just say it's called Warehouse Team Member Full Seasonal, whatever. So I'll just say Warehouse Team Member uh, if I can get back to where I was, where was I? Let me see. I think it was right here. There we go. So we can go with the uh, warehouse team member. So let me go ahead and do that. And then once you do this, let me see. Warehouse team member, right? So you can add more or less, right? So warehouse team member right now we're looking good right we're looking real good so now that we have that uh once they fill this out or you can add if you want to add a, a certain photo right here or whatever it is you guys can do that uh but once they continue right then they will be redirect now if you want to change this part too you can do that but once they redirect then you will get a uh, dollar 95 right a dollar 95 okay so that's just for that particular offer now you can do more or less or however you want to do later guys but that's what you can potentially get uh by just doing that now after that you can either use you can right click this view paid source it or you can inspect element it again and just climb to the top of this here and then go ahead and click the edit and then copy this entire thing right and if you want to go ahead and take this part out and all that which I didn't see last time so I don't think it's there but if you want to go ahead and copy that whole thing and then go over to CPA grip right and then you want to go to uh, your locker create locker of course we already know that continue you know click advanced and go ahead and paste that code into where it says HTML and then click refresh then you can do that kind of stuff guys and it's not that hard to do uh, and then once you have that your uh, process will be pretty much done guys it'll be pretty much done and you will be good to go okay so after that uh, what you can do what you would do in a certain scenario right is you would go ahead and create the job right after you create the job you can grab the link so if you click share uh, either you can share straight to your timeline or whatever however you want to do it but you could just particularly grab the link okay and then you can share it on your stories if you're somebody who doesn't want to use your Facebook wall all the time you rather use your stories what you can do, let me go to my page. So this here is my page. So what you can do, guys, is you can make a status, right? And then uncheck newsfeed. Uncheck newsfeed and just click stories. So this is how you can add a link to your story. So for instance, if I wanted to do my website, which is the wealthyempire.net, right? This is the only way that I'll be able to do it. So I would actually have to copy this and then repaste it in there. So let me exit out and do this again. All right. So let's say I drop my website. Boom. So this part comes here. Then I could delete this and make a status, right? So I could say want to, oh, uh, who wants a job or who needs a job? Let's say who needs a job paying, you know, whatever the amount is. So I'll just say $25 per hour, right? Per hour and then question mark and then click link uh, link below right and if you want to use the uh, pointing down emoji then you can do that you know it, it doesn't really you know matter okay you you, you will be able to do that uh, and then also after that then you should be good to go you just click to the story take off the news feed and do just to your story once you share that this link will be clickable inside of your Facebook story right and then people will just click it they will go through the process and then cha-ching cha-ching you'll be getting uh, you know commissions off of that right you guys will be getting good commissions off of that and the uh, 
Another thing you guys had a question about was, I think, the Brandon Belcher method. So I think, uh, let's see, Starbucks. Let's see uh, what this is. So this is the Brandon Belcher uh, website that you guys were asking me how did you know he do the converting. Uh, let's see. See if I can do it this way. Okay, so this this right here, guys, this is what you guys were asking me about. So basically the idea behind what he did here was, you know, you were able to click this and then you can share it, but I'm not logged in on here because I'm in incognito mode, but if you could share it to your page and then as soon as you click OK, it'll go ahead and redirect them. It'll share it to their page and it'll redirect them. So if I exit out, it's going to change. See that? Okay, so the idea behind that, guys, is just a false increment. Uh, but you have to, you know, a little HTML can go a long ways. I'm not going to explain it too much in this video. You guys may have to just message me. Let me see if I can exit out and and uh, and go back in, right? So uh, Starbucks. So I can find this offer for you again. Hopefully I can get it to where there it is. Okay, so basically let me show you what I'm talking about, guys. I already told you guys how to kind of pretty much do a little HTML, but you do the same thing you would do with any other thing, right? You click inspect element, right? And then what you want to do is you want to go to the well, you could just click the Facebook one, right? And so what you see here, guys, is a false increment, right? Look at this. You see this uh, fake increment? Uh, Facebook share account or whatever uh, I'm pretty sure this is this isn't probably how he did it but this is the way that I you know uh, know how to do it uh, so basically you would take you know what you wanted to share so it says share Facebook without I and so you would just take this link out right here put the link that you want in there uh, once once it's shared right then you would come down here to the HTTPS this link right here and you would take this link out and put your redirect link so after it does the fake increment to share account to facebook it will share to facebook and it'll redirect to the other url that you have there guys so you just pretty much paste that into your uh your website if you have an html website and then that's it right and he did the same thing with the other ones which is another fake increment to twitter as you can see it highlights twitter when i do this and you just take you just take that code and you can put it into your you know your other ones guys and that's pretty much how you do the you know redirect uh, to Facebook right so hopefully that helps if you're still confused about anything guys comment below uh, as well and comment other videos that you guys are wanting to see but these uh, with these different methods guys you can crush it and also last thing last thing Hopefully you guys pay attention to this, right? When you go to CPA Grip, let me go back here. When you go to CPA Grip, you want to contact your uh, your manager, right? I click over here to John W. right here. Click on that. Click send a private message. If you guys have any problems with your commissions or anything, you guys can contact John, right? Contact John. Write him a message and say, hey, I'm having problems when my commission's not converting or anything like that. And he'll make sure you guys get taken care of. He usually runs the site and gets everything taken care of. So if your leads aren't converting or you feel like you're getting lead and not too many clicks, not enough leads, then just contact him and let him know uh, what's going on. He'll have a look at what you're doing, and then he'll help you out, guys. So other than that, hopefully I helped. If you guys have any other questions, comment below this video, and I am out. Peace.